Alright YouTubers, we got the Hyper TT all finished up from Habao. Um, I put these uh, all-terrain tires on it instead of the pin tires that came with it. We got we went with the red and the silver because the red's Anthony's color. We did a little Franken uh, build here. This is all leftover parts I had. So uh, we have the Castle 5700. Trackstar 120 amp that was from a car that I had bought. I took the electronics out of. Um, I'm, a, I'm a receiver and uh, we got the 1510 DS Ace RC. I think the, that came out of um, a buggy I picked up. So. Everything should work good. We got it running on 3S. And uh, we got the aluminum body shocks, um, caps, but it has a plastic uh, plastic holder. So, other than that, the dampening is really nice out of the gate. So, nothing wrong there. I left all the oils the way it was. Like I said, this is a little kit. You pick it up from Tower Hobby. I think it ends up being like 185 after their code. It gives you the um, the metal pinion gear. It has the center diff. It's all metal, metal gearing. Um, like I said, on the bottom there, it has a, a metal plate that goes from the brace, front front brace to the back brace to keep the flex out of the chassis. Got a full aluminum chassis with front and rear aluminum um, pin mounts. So you don't gotta worry about plastic breaking on your pins. Metal gears on the inside of the discs, but like I said, I didn't go over anything. Um, pillow ball suspension, which out of the gate I had to do some. Um, Tone camber, which is all adjustable from um, it's got metal links, adjustable metal turnbuckles right there. So it's built really good. I mean, for the money, you can't go wrong. Um, I kept the stock servo horn, we'll see how long that lasts. I probably Guarantee it's going to strip out, but whatever. We'll see. We'll do everything right out of stock. See how it holds up. This got this way. You guys know. So you figure, um, you know, you're at 185. It was an extra 20 bucks for these tires, but I didn't have to buy them. You know what I'm saying? So I got 205 into it. All these electronics and parts were left over in my uh, my electronics bin. bin. So, um, yeah, keep it down. This way, give Anthony something to bash. Alright, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Um, yeah, shock towers are aluminum. Um, build quality looks really good for the, for the money, so we'll see how she holds up. I'm sure Anthony will put it through its test. It's got sway bars front and rear. Um, so that's a nice nice little additive so, let's see what else it's got a service saver you know not bad not bad at all all right um yeah i'm messing with these camera settings i just uploaded one then deleted it i'm gonna try something else because it came in grainy i am inside and we got clouds so that's probably why all right, I'll let you guys go. YouTubers, I'm out.